All right, so someone in my Discord or YouTube comments was asking, how can I set up a guard to kind of protect a certain route in Next.js? He's also using Next Auth, and I do want to say that if you're using JWT sessions, you might be able to use this middleware function, which is kind of newer in React 12. But there is a caveat. Uh, if you scroll down to the bottom, they have like a caveat here. This approach only works for the JWT session. On my app, I'm using just normal database sessions, so I can't use this approach. And the reason is they kind of explain it. Edge computing isn't really that compatible with edge databases or like basically in order to use this like session in a database approach, the edge technology needs to kind of improve some. So since we can't really do this approach with what I have set up, if you have JDP, JWT set up, then just go to this URL and like read through it and you can kind of figure out how to set up a matcher and have people redirect back to the dashboard if they're not logged in. Or you can use it with auth hook or with auth um, export basically, which helps you write a custom function to check if you're authorized and you have a certain role, etc. So check that out if you do use JWT sessions, but I don't. So what I'm going to show you is how do we make a secured endpoint? And what I have here is I have a secured folder here and inside of that I have an index.tsx. And we have some content that says we should not see this content. So our goal in this video is how do I secure this page so that no one else can hit it unless they're actually logged in with a session. So how you can do that, notice here if I go to the secure page right now, it says, you, let's see, what does it say? Um, I don't think I saved this page, let me go back. So we should not see this content. So how do we actually do this? Well, you can do this with using Git server side props. So I'm going to go ahead and import a Git session here from NextAuth. This is how you can kind of call a function to get the current session of the user. And then down at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and say Git server side props. And then I'm going to get the session using that Git session function that's provided from NextAuth and pass it the context. I'm using TypeScript. I should probably actually type this correctly, but whatever. Then you need to check if the session is set or not. Okay, so if the session is not set, we need to redirect the user. If you go to the next um the next documentation on how you can redirect with Git server side props, you just return an object that has a redirect property and you tell it what path to go to. And the permanent false is because you don't want the browser to kind of cache this URL location. You want it to like recompute this every time. And then finally, like you could probably return the session here. If you ever wanted to use it, you could just go ahead and use it up here if you wanted to, but we don't really care about that at this point. So that's kind of it. Like you do this and your endpoint is secure. Now, if I go back to, uh, let's see, I have an extra curly brace here. Let me delete that. If I go back to the page, it says we should not see this content. I need to refresh my page and notice that I get redirected back to authenticated. So now whenever I try to go to secure, it just keeps redirecting me back to authenticated, right? Kind of hard to tell. I probably should have changed the color of the pages a little bit. Um, but that is how you can kind of do it. Now, obviously, this is not something you want to copy and paste into every page. You probably want to abstract this out into some type of helper component, which you probably could do. Um, don't know what the best way to do that is, but like if you have a utils, you could probably say like uh, require authentication.ts. And then we could potentially kind of abstract this part away if you wanted to. Um, so like you could say export const require authentication and then go ahead and call this and maybe you could allow us to take in a callback which you can call and do something so basically again this could take a context and a callback uh let's see i'm just going off the <laughs> going off of just building some stuff right here so you know for the sake of what i'm doing let's just go ahead and do something like this so now we have a function that we can call pass a context and a callback and if the uh session is not set we're going to return this object otherwise we should probably return the callback so let's try this out i'm going to go ahead and try to import this i'm going to say return require authentication pass a context pass it a callback and we could basically just do something like this this could take in session if you wanted to you could do something like that So now it's kind of like you wrote like this little helper function that's basically basically can be used to check if authentication is set up. And then if it's not, it's just going to return that redirect. Otherwise, it's going to call this function. There could be other ways to do this. This is not like the best way. I just kind of thought this up in like 
two seconds. Well, let's verify this actually works, so I'm not telling you something that's garbage. But it still seems like it works. Go to secure, it redirects you back to authenticated. But the code's a little bit drier and you have a reusable function. Now, there might be better ways to do this. Obviously, I think middlewares might be the best way to do it. But again, if you're using session-based authentication, it might not work the best. Or database session authentication. What I should probably do is just show you real quick with like a, a login. Um, I'm going to go to pages. Where am I trying to go? Where's my index? Um, let's just go ahead and import like a login function. So I'm going to make a button here called like login. I'm going to make sure this actually works. Const. So on click, I'm going to call a login function. We didn't get import. So let me just go ahead and try to import that from, I think it's like next auth. So import the login capital. One thing you'll notice if you're new to this channel is I like to just do things like off the whim. I don't really prepare for my videos. So you're going to watch me do some stupid stuff. You know, when in doubt, just go to a repo that you know you've done it before. So let me just go to like my header here. I've done this in the past. So there is a login. You could just actually go to a login endpoint, I believe. Oh, it's called sign in. I'm stupid. All right. So I think this is called sign in. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. So there should be a button now. Let me slow down because I'm probably jumping around a lot. If I go to the dashboard, there should be a button here that says sign in somewhere. It's right here. It, it blends into the title. Of some, that's my bad. I'm using Tailwind, so like obviously X blue 400. This will make it easier. I have my Google's provider set up with my client ID in secret. And the login page that we just added, let me go to index. So there's a login button now or a sign in button. You click it and that's going to take us to a sign in page. So let's go ahead and click on sign in and click sign in with Google. And we should now be authenticated. If you were to load up your Chrome tab down here and go to applications and look at your actual like tokens, you can see that we're kind of authenticated for this application now. And these are all stored on our, our header, our cookies. Um, sorry, they're all stored on our cookies. So now if I go to that slash secure page, notice that we don't get redirected to on authenticated. We actually can see this. We should not see this content. So now we've kind of successfully secured an endpoint and allowed a user to be signed in or signed out and hit this endpoint and redirect them if they're not signed in and show the content if they're signed in. So that kind of wraps up this little video. If you enjoyed watching, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe and join my Discord if you want to ask me questions directly or be involved with a community of other developers trying to learn how to code as well. Have a good day and happy coding.